Hello and welcome to Ask Charlie. I have had lots of questions about mending and um, darning holes in jerseys. So I have got a jersey here with a couple of holes and I'm gonna show you how I fix it. You need very little really. This is handy, this is a darning mushroom or you could just use um, a cup or something with rounded sides because it is easier if you have something to put in um, let me show you like that and then you can actually really clearly see the hole and it holds it open which is um, much easier to stitch I find the darning mushroom useful because you can hold the handle and you've got you've got it in there like that then you need a needle and some thread which is a similar color as close color match as you can get the better because then it's more of an invisible stitch so I have got a needle here but actually that needle is quite short and so I want to use a slightly longer one so I am going for that length needle now some jerseys come with a little little bit of wool if it does keep it to one side because it may come in handy it's better if you can fix your hole with um, wool but I don't have any navy wool to match and actually it's a tiny hole so a little bit of cotton is going to do the job perfectly well I use a double thread because I just find it stronger and easier but you can use a single thread as well if you prefer it's just really personal preference so I'm just threading my needle and popping a knot in the end you want with wool a slightly bigger knot than you would use if you were um, sewing with cotton because you want the knot to hold so that's actually a bit of a messy knot but it will do the job just fine. I'm going to trim the ends off and then show you, show you how to do it. I have put my darning mushroom in and I just want to catch a few of the threads. So like that. And then I want to stitch all the way around the edge of the hole, just roughly. I go all the way around the edge first, like this. This hole is actually in a slightly tricky place on one of the arm seams, but luckily it's at the back. And you might get a hole from wear and tear. Lots of Simon's, Simon's jerseys go um, in the elbows, which is quite common. Um, or it could be moths, which are a pain. And it's really important to put, um, I put lavender sachets actually in all the drawers. So now I've gone all the way around the edge of my hole and I'm gonna go straight across the middle, catching some thread on either side, some wool on either side like that. And you want to go back and forth. And it's really important that you do this from the reverse. So you turn your garment in inside out and you just catch the threads going back and forth like that. Trying to not pull it too tight because if you pull it too tight, it will um, really buckle on the other side. And then I'm going to run a couple of threads through the other way. So effectively, I'm doing like a knots and crosses board, crisscrossing backwards and forwards across my hole like that. Pull your threads through. And then I'm going to put one more in and then I'm going to turn it round and show you what it looks like from the other side. I'm going to leave the needle attached because actually I might need to do a few more uh, 
stitches and I've threaded my hole. There's my hole. And I don't know if you can see the little bit of a loose thread there, which is from the hole, which actually can be ripped off. So that was a little bit of wool. But I don't know if you can see that actually that is pretty invisible and I'm pretty pleased with that. It doesn't need any more, that is enough. So I'm gonna go back round to the other side. I don't need to put my mushroom back in, but I'm just going to secure off with a knot. So again, I've just got a little bit of, uh, a little, caught the wool under there. And then I've made a little loop. Can you see that loop? Let me put the needle through. I've made a little loop and I'm just gonna pull the needle through. And to make it extra secure, I'm gonna pull that down I've got another loop here and I'm just going to go back through the loop so it's like a double, a double knot. Pull that tight, pull that end through, put my finger on it, give it a little bit of a tug and then snip it off and that is your hole mended just like that. So it's really, really easy and if you catch a hole early before it gets too big, it's less likely to grow particularly you know with wool look I've got another one there under the arm seam actually that one is really easy to do and I'm going to do that quickly now and show you that one as well um, if you do it before the hole has got bigger then it's less likely to grow and it's easy to mend in a more invisible way particularly just make another knot like so grab my mushroom and just you know, get it all in the right position like that. Can you see the hole there? And I'm just going to go across. I'm not going to go round on this one because actually um, a se an underarm seam, you don't need to. I just do it with a hole because it stops the threads from running any more than they would do, but this is fine, just a crisscross. I've put two stitches that way, and I'm gonna go for probably three this way, because actually it's slightly bigger hole on this side than it was on the other side. Just literally look, it takes moments to do. I'm not even gonna check it, I'm going to just secure off that with my double knot like so pull it taut put my finger on it just give it a tug make sure it's secure and trim off the ends and I will show you what that looks like from from this side can't see a thing you wouldn't know it was there which is perfect so there you are, it is mended, it is darned, it is done. A stitch in time saves nine, there you go. Have a fabulous weekend, thank you for tuning in and sending lots of love.